I have got to cross a video of Aldis Masteco and I asked him for the permission to translate it a video in my channel. He has a certain questions and uh, I hope you guys find it interesting. But now I'm not trying really to say my own opinion about it. But uh, I found it puzzling enough to put it on my channel. So let's have a watch. I would like to share with you the effect that I have noticed and maybe somebody who is looking at this video would be able to advise me or explain to me what is that coming from. I of course have some of my opinion but I think it might be pretty much helpful. I have a device in here. We have induction welding apparat. And we have a ferret transformer. Bifilar catcher. But this is not what I'm talking about. I was doing it for the past two months. It just uh, not explained to me that during that experiment one part of audio wire the typical one that you can buy well I, I was trying to play with the steady magnets and in this particular point part I've noticed that the wire has changed its own physical properties and you see steady magnet and now uh, I put uh, the new one and you see that the copper wire is not reacting to magnet and that coil is the one that I have purchased. I cut whatever the pieces I was need to cut and start to use it to the experiment. After two months, I was surprised to find out there is ma having magnetic properties. So you see the same wires. There is nothing here. And now, you see, it's magnetic. And I don't know how to explain it. How is possible that copper wire could change its own physical properties and start to be instead of diamagnetic, paramagnetic? How structure, internal structure of that wire could possibly change? I thought at the beginning of that is static electricity. And I thought this is related to the less scaling effect. And less scaling was trying to use the magnetic impulse to 
received that effect. And we see the same effect. I have purchased special foil that shows magnetic lines. We have a magnet and we see the piece of iron. And now you see, you see the stamp of the magnetic field on that foil. And now, I'm going to try the wire. And I'm putting it on the same foil. And I'm lifting up the magnet. If that wire had anything that is magnetic or iron contact, you will see the lines left over. But you see no lines on the foil. Apart from the magnet lines, you don't see anything else. You don't see the stamp of the copper wire that is magnetized. So it looks like the magnetic field only in that particular point. So, that's the proof of the fact that there is no effect of any iron or magnetizable material in the wire. Now you see the wire that was not in that system, and now I take the one that was in the system and you see it's magnetized. I have a question to physicists, theologists. Can you explain to me how come the copper wire still will not become a magnet, but it will be reacting to the magnetic field? And remember that we have pieces of the same wire, they are not magnetized or not reacting to a magnetic field. And we have this one that is doing so. So that would be all. In real striding forum, there was a guy who said that he is going to change to change inductive part of the circuitry to the one-side rectifier. But so far in my device, I don't have any heat on the transistors. I have had a problem with my device when I was doing the experiments. And I have blown up about 50 transistors. So, after Oleg, my friend Oleg, helped me and he made this transformer for me. The only effect that I have is that wires are getting hot 
actually one end of it is getting very hard and insulation is flowing but transistors are safe so again physicists please give me the answer if you can when a material is placed within a magnetic field the magnetic forces of the material's electrons will be affected and that would be what uh, Faraday law of magnetic induction those materials will really interact quite differently with, with the magnetic field the magnetic moments associated with the atom have quite few origin, I would say three of them those are electron motion the change in motion that is caused by external magnetic field and spin of the electrons actually interesting it is in mass of an atom electrons occurs in pairs so remember from the previous video shells K, L, M, N the first shell has two electrons the second one has eight the third one is 18 and then the fourth one would be 32 so K, L, M, N, N would be 32 so when electrons are paired together they oppose spin their opposed spin because uh, their magnetic fields to cancel each other so no net magnetic field exists materials with some unpaired electrons will have net magnetic field and will react more to external field most of the materials can be classified as diamagnetic, paramagnetic and ferromagnetic so what is diamagnetic? that would be weak to negative susceptibility for magnetic fields it would be slightly repelled by magnetic field and will not retain magnetic properties when we take out the magnet in those materials electrons are paired so there is no permanent net magnetic moment per atom their magnetic properties then arise from the realignment of an electron path under the influence of an external magnetic field uh, the second one would be paramagnetic all those materials will have a positive susceptibility to magnetic fields so paramagnetic will be slightly attracted to magnetic field and will not retain magnetic properties where when that external field is removed Mm. alignment mm. well pro paramagnetic properties will come from unpaired electrons and uh, from reposition realignment of the electron spots that are being uh, uh, altered by the external magnetic field and that would be what we have magnesium molybdenum lithium tantalum the diamagnetic was copper, silver, and gold. A plenty, few more. Ferromagnetic materials. Well, they have susceptibility, quite big one, to external magnetic field. They have strong interaction to magnetic fields. They have some unpaired electrons, so the atoms have net magnetic moment. Usually 10 to 12 to 10 to 15 atom moments are aligned parallel to the magnetic force within domain and is strong actually there is a method to let you hear clicking domains when they align but maybe next video and we have iron, nickel, cobalt cobalt ferromagnetic materials Hessler, alloys H-E-U-S-S-L-E-R are ferromagnetic uh, made from copper, aluminium and manganese and 
they have a metallic compounds MN3AL or Cu3AL. None of these metals is CuMn or copper or ferromagnetic. So, magnetic alloys, say, all transition metals close to iron in periodic table are theoretically interesting. For any substance to become magnetic, it must have electron spin that gives a substance an electronic angular momentum to interact 